This is the progress video on September the 9th, 2010 for the NACA wastewater treatment plant. Starting off with the influent pump station and coming around to control building number one and on around to the water storage tank and fire pump station. We're now on the east side of control building number one, looking at the east face, coming around to the UV treatment channels. And we're now looking into the uh, storage area for the uh, advanced filtration system uh, cones, uh, fiberglass, the separator and so forth. Coming around to the actual structure of the filter building itself. And in the foreground here is the uh, foundations for control building number three, which will be controls for the filters. We are now standing on top of the splitter distribution box, looking at uh, clarifier 62, and on beyond that, to the water storage tank, panning around to the advanced filtration building. Coming around to clarifier number 61 and on around to the process train. Continuing a 360 degree turn, we're around to the return sludge pump station. On beyond that is control building number two and beyond that is the sludge process building. Coming around to see the sludge storage slab in the distance. And in the foreground is the return sludge pump station valve vault. We are on now on top of the north deck of the process trains, shooting into the process trains looking to the south. Panning around to control building number two. <coughs> on beyond that is the sludge process or the sludge storage slab and in the sludge storage basin. And on around to the sludge process building. Looking west at this point. Coming on around to the administration building. And the main entrance to the plant. In the distance is the Carroll Electric substation, and then in the foreground is the screen building. And on this side of the screen building is the grid and chambers with the blue pumps on them. Okay, we're now inside the sludge process building and looking at the belt filter press. Coming around along the conveyors into the truck bay and an associated duct work for ventilation of the process room. We're now on top of the sludge process building looking down on the sludge storage basin. And beyond that is the sludge storage slab. And way beyond that, you'll find the yellow monorail on the influent pump station. To the left is control building one, water storage tank, clarifier 62. Again, another yellow beam on the return sludge pump station. To the left of that is the process train. In the foreground is the green roof for the control building number two. Continuing up the process train to the north end. And beyond that is the grit chambers and the screen building. Beyond that's the electric substation. We're now inside the screen building, looking in the process room of the screen building. 
at the screens themselves as well as uh, conveyors for debris and then to the left as we're panning around we get to the grit processing conveyor and the classifier.